All right, fellow Tarnished, welcome back to the Elden Ring playthrough. <clears throat> I am Stubbs the Wizard, your host with the most. And we are playing through this playthrough as a stealth wizard. This is New Game Plus. It's my first New Game Plus in uh, Elden Ring. Hey, look, I'm doing a dance step. It's like it's, like it's a raven here. Look at that. <laughs> that cracks me up. All right, I'm uh, my ADD is kicking in. So, let's talk about the idea of this wizard. The idea is that he is a pure mage, and let's just look at his stats. And the idea is that he can only use night spells or invisibility sorceries, as they're called. And there you see them in the middle. What he can use, you can see his intelligence is 99, uh, and there's his various other stats. And uh, there's the night spells he can use. Let's look at the equipment. The staves of loss, do wielding those to give a whopping 69% buff to damage for the night sorceries. And the misericord is for uh, backstabbing, criticals, things like that, which do not count as melee. Just remember, the idea is he can only do damage through night sorceries. Okay. And this is just armor that looks stealthy and nice. I think it actually does really well. It, I feel like it makes you more stealthy. Haven't corroborated that though. And these are the talismans. All right, so in this episode, we are going to take on the Oriza side tomb. And as I mentioned in the last video, we did uh, Oriza's hero's grave. The, the, the cool thing about Elden Ring is you don't remember, um, like you, hey, there's a, there's a pot. You don't remember exactly what is in, let's see if I can one-shot these with the night shard. No, but I, oh, he's gonna blow up. And I could not jump out of the doorway. So this is the point of I of not remembering what's in the game. Oh yeah, we can send another world to uh, help someone being invaded. Oh, I'm remembering this. This is the one where you have. You gotta jump through the window and you have chests that are, that are, uh, there he is. Well, let's see how to, why am I way up here? Let's see how we get down to this guy. Pick up some leaf there of some sort. I don't. Oh, I think I see the invader there. Got him. There you go, sir. <laughs> well, that was fun. I'm actually getting better at uh, PvP. Some PvP is not my jam. You know, it's it's not that I'm against it or anything. I like the cooperation better than the competitive. Uh, so we're gonna jump out here pretty soon. I remember this, so now you got chests that teleport you and things like that. Oh, let me turn on my, let me turn on my uh, lamp. And uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a teleport trap. 
I don't think I think I'll jump to the window first. So this one is just tedious. It might end up being a longer video, uh, as I probably won't remember exactly where everything is. I know there's imps. There's one. Uh, miss got him. So we eventually got to get up there. We're going to have to go back and forth between matching um, sort of dungeons. What does this say? Be wary of right. Ouch. Well, you know what? That was a good message. I'm going to give him a applause for that. Get some more of Ghost Glove Wart, Grave Glove Wart in this case. Okay, so uh, what's talking about PvP is it's I it's not my favorite. Um, it's, it's getting it's getting more fun. I it's just. It's, uh, I, I just, I don't know, I just prefer playing the game, I guess. I feel like there's supposed to be stuff that comes out here. What was that? Oh. Okay, I know where, where we are now. Uh, and this is one of the... Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, okay. So, this is one of the points I was making that, um, you... Uh, don't always remember exactly what is in each thing. And then you start rec recollecting, oh yeah, this is the one with the chest that teleports, etc., you know. And I feel like there's another... Yeah, there it is. No. Settle down. So, I have played this horribly as I try to talk while I'm playing. So, the mechanic here is when you hit the... Uh, when, you, when you go to the chest and teleport, you teleport to an area that looks exactly the same, but it's not the same. And there's a thing here, a secret door. Now I can go up and hit it, but I want to show you what Margaret Shackle does. Margaret Shackle has a pretty, pretty good range, and it'll take out um, secret doors. Um, and in fact, I use it on the Ariza's Hero's Grave to destroy the chariot, because I, it'll also work the totems that go up and down and shoot fire. Um, so this is one of the ways we can tell that we're we in, in this one, is this ghost glove ward here. The other one won't have it. Hey, boys. Oh, it's still alive. How point. Now it's not. That was weird. So if we, if we don't see this, we know we're in the other one. All right. Um... I guess I'll do this one. What the heck? Teleport. So we are now on the other side. So we'll see what this does for us. Golden Seven. This is the guy that was doing lightning earlier, although he's not the same guy that was doing lightning. Take him out. The good old Misericord. Let there be champion. What does that mean? B 
be wary of defeating one by one. So you can tell we're on the side because the statue's not here to let us. Uh... Let's open the door. What do we got here? Boom. Same thing. Night Maiden's Mist in here. Uh, so the mist was probably superfluous. Didn't need it. And while we're talking here, let me uh, mention the Free Time Creators Collective. It's a group of creators. I'm part of. Hello. Nope. Nope. Stay away from me. Um, okay, there's really nothing up here. Put it the other way. So the Free Time Creators Collective is a group of creators for smaller channels, and we have um, such favorites in it, such as I'm Not Great, Mindless Meat, and uh, Plumberry Delicious is another, Holly's Adventures, uh, Big Baby J, for sure. Iris Zenofris, which I always say she has the coolest name of in the entire uh, collective. And the idea is that we. I already killed the guys up there. We just support each other and. Um, no, no. Let's see, there's somebody there. And uh, I'm going to put a link in the description of the video to several channels in our Discord. Is there a pot in here? Nothing in here. Now notice here, There's see there's no... Um, uh, there's no Ghost Glove Ward stem. So we know now we are in... The, the side that has no um, that, ha that has no uh, statue that you pull the lever on. Uh, Kendall Kindles, another one in the Real Time Creators Collective. Free Time, I'm sorry, creator, Creators Collective. And uh, Danny Shades Gaming. And as I mentioned, I will put those links to those in the description with our dis Discord. Take that. Thank you for your kidney donation. All right. Yeah, so this one's different. And uh, what I'd like you to do is click on them. Check them out, see what you think, see what you like. And the nice thing to see smaller channels grow, you know, I feel like this is a trap. Let's see anybody up here? No. Still no lever. <laughs> I 
there. So I didn't get back behind there. So I think I need to use uh, this. this one. Let's see which one am I at. Okay, there's the ghost glove work. So I'm in the side that has the... Uh, that has the lever. I am stuck in the scenery. So let's see what we got here. This is just, uh, <laughs> this is going to take a little longer because I, yeah, there's no ladder here, so I went in the wrong one. Because I don't, um, I just don't remember it all that well. I feel like there's a lever, maybe not. All right. Let's do this and see what happens. And I have no idea who the boss is either, or what the boss is. So we'll discover that together as well. So we're back here. So what we want to do... See, this is one with the, with the statue. With the uh, lever. So let's go to the other side and then use the other one to get back behind the grave. And we've pretty much already killed everything in here, so we're going to, what does that say? Oh yeah, that's a yeah, that's a that's a good message. We'll give him a applaud. We'll clap that. Give that two snaps because um, it's always good to to give people praise for helpful messages. It's encouraging, and it also fills their health up. Here we go. So, I'm gonna get to the lever here pretty shortly, and then probably have my butt handed to me by the boss, whatever it is. One of the hallmarks of the of the Souls games are uh, is excellent. Um, Excellent uh, level design. That all fits together. A heavy door opens somewhere. I gotta figure out how to get there now. Let's see. Actually, I came in. came in here so I think I think I need to go to the other side and um, get the lever get the, not the lever the uh, thing at the top to move back to where I was and it's like it's reversed So let's see here. Um, am I where I need to be? I am. All right. Um, 
So do I got enough juice and stuff? I think I do. Uh, I don't really know what's in here, but we will find out together. Close quarters battlehead be by the way, be wary of the group. Hmm. Is this the one with the uh the watchdog uh, with all the imps? Just just in case I'm going to get my crystal darts. to make them crazy and start hitting each other. Okay. Then we will do some of that. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Well, that's a grave one. It's a duelist. It's not... Oh, the pots are the group. So jars of fortune ash. Never use them. All right, we are going to go back up to the grace, and if I have enough to level up, I wonder. Hmm. Very close. Let's see if my. Uh, well, that's probably not going to do much. Need to get 267. So what I'm going to do is uh, head up, head up back to the race and end the game or in the session and possibly uh, level up if I get enough of these. And uh, as I mentioned, the Free Time Creators Collective, their links are will be in the description. And the, the link to the Discord will too. I think we've now got, I think, 50 people now in the collective. Um, but I, I do link to some of the channels that I know better that uh, are ones that were earlier on with us in the from the beginning. And um, so I link to their specific channels and then also link uh, to the Discord. Whoops. That was stupid. Oh, I got enough. I got enough now. All right. Turn the entrance. So this is cleared. So go go give them a, a look at the Free Time Creators Collective. And now usually I had ended my um, my sessions, my videos with a catchphrase. And usually the catchphrase would be, you know, I'd ask for likes and subscribes and comments. And then the catchphrase is, um, you know, thanks for watching. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them, you know. I thought about it, and, and uh, I'm a computer scientist, so I, I have a program I've, I've written. Uh, and it'll make up phrases just randomly. So I'm going to... I will leave with a random phrase, so um, it's going to probably sound weird because it's meant to not particularly make sense. I mean, it'll make sense grammatically, but uh, not not particularly contextually. <laughs> so, uh, what I do is I'd like you to give this video a like. I'd appreciate that, and. Um, subscribe to the channel that would be great too and um, after that comment if you would I'd really appreciate that and uh, the thing with the comments is I, I'll read them all I will um, 
Let's see how I'm going to do this. Sorry, I, I lost my focus. Anyway, I'll, I'll look at all the com comments and I'll answer them all. And, um, yeah. So let me leave you with my random phrase. The thing is, what started this was I'm Not Great, who was in the, in the Creative Collective. He, he, his catchphrase at the end is, be safe and healthy out there, everybody. And the thing is, that's a great, that is just a great, you know, tagline for, for exiting, you know. And, uh, of course, I, you know, I, I can't be too derivative and, like Roberto would say, be healthy and safe or whatever. So, um, you know, I didn't think that as long as you keep watching, I'll keep making it's too bad. But I thought, you know, I could use my computer science to make random ones and maybe some will be funny, maybe it'll be intriguing. So let's see. Let me leave you with this thought. Just remember, it's not often you find a soggy banana on the street. So thank you for watching. We'll pick it up next time. Thanks. Oh, by the way, this is where I'm starting next time. I'm going to be going, uh, doing the Volcano Manor. There's a cave over here I missed on this playthrough. I'm going to mark it right around there somewhere. And, uh, alright. Yep, that's it. Have a great day.